Well, howdy there, internet people. It's Belle again. So today, we're going to talk about polls and safety in numbers, but not the way your mom used to talk about it. We've been getting a lot of questions over the last few weeks about why so many outlets seem focused on polls, why they put out so much content on them, and why people are so interested in them. Even though polls aren't predictive, but rather a snapshot of a single point in time, and that's in their best case, assuming they were done correctly. The answer has less to do with politics and more to do with psychology. Numbers give us an idea of what to expect, and I'm not really talking about what to expect with the election. I'm talking about the immediate here and now. Humans are creatures whose brains crave certainty. We find quantifiable things, known things, comforting. Because of this little quirk of human nature, news outlets use it to their advantage. Let me give you four reasons why. Did you see what I did there? You're certainly familiar with that headline style. Numbered lists let us know what to expect. They let us quantify the information we're about to receive because it gives us certainty. There's a widespread belief that we're more likely to click on a link with a number. Outlets use this one weird trick to increase traffic. So, the easy headline formulation about polls, candidate X up 4% in these swing states, leads to more outlets paying attention because their readers or viewers click on it. That's reason one. The second reason is not just the headline, but the information in the article is numerical, which again, gives us comfort. Most people know that polls aren't predictors, but do you remember when you were in school and there was a bell to let you know when to change classes? But you would always look up at the clock every few minutes. At least I did. Polling serves the same function. We know when the real end occurs, but it lets us check in on how things are going because we're interested and want that numerical update. News outlets know content about polling will get clicks. The third reason differs a little from the first two. The first two are literally giving the customer what they want. The third is using the human desire to quantify to provide the unexpected. It's relatively common now for outlets to focus on a poll that says John Jackson is leading Jack Johnson by eight points, even though all other polling says it's a tight race. Focusing on the outlier polls creates drama because the info goes against the way we've quantified things in our minds. Those articles get a lot of attention too, which means they get clicks. That brings us to reason four, the numbers that really matter to most big outlets, the ones with dollar signs in front of them. Because of the first three items and the traffic the articles generate, Outlets produce a lot of polling-based content because it generates revenue. Profit motives tend to lead to this. So, polling gives us a snapshot of how people are thinking at a particular moment in time among the selected group. It's useful information, but their real use is to track the trends week over week. It's useful info. But the reason they get focused on so much is because we consume the content. I do too. I know everything I've just told you, and I like the certainty of numbers. Like many of the ills in the media, the despised content gets made or overplayed because we view it. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.